this book is first. Um, it's Robinson Crusoe by Daniel Defoe. Yeah. Can anybody tell me why I chose this book? Well, what, what is the reason? Hello. Hello. Happy to see you again. How are you? I'm good. Thank you so much, Mr. Ahmed. So, uh, what 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 is the reason I chose this book? Can 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 you guys tell me why why I chose this book? I think maybe they ask, uh, Doctor, so many events and so many struggles in Robinson. That's why you chose this because as nowadays there are so many struggles face us as a humanity. That's a good point. Um, anyone else? Like we have, uh, sorry, let me just accept Shema Sazan. Okay, we have Ahmad, we have Burwa. We have another Burwa, we have Regine, we have Shema. So why did I choose this book? What, what is the reason? Well, maybe it is uh, because this book, it's counted as one of the first novel in English language. Uh, not the first. As, I even have the same question. Why even in the English department, the first, second year of uh, studying novel, why they choose this book? I have the same question. Well, you can let's ask. hear from others. I will give you my answer later. All right. I, I don't. I don't. Actually, I don't know why they study this in English department, but I have a reason for choosing this book. Okay. Anybody else can tell me. Okay. The reason why I chose this book is because Robinson. Crusoe is a person who will go to an island, who can survive alone, who can stick to that island until everything will get good and will find a way to run away or to go back to his home. So why I chose this book is if Robinson Crusoe was able to stand in that island for so long and survive, why can't we not stay at our home while we have everything? Until this, this disease, this virus will be cured, they will find a vaccine for it. What, 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 is the, what is the point if we just go out and we don't have the vaccine, if we don't have the solution, if we don't have a cure? When we found the cure, the vaccine, then everybody can go out freely. Same with this book. Like, he was struggling so much to find a cure, but his cure was not a vaccine. His cure was something like a, a tangible and abstract thing in order to uh, pass the water, like a boat, like a ship, like anything. But our point is, how can we, how can we overcome our desires? Can you tell me, how can we overcome, how can we control our desires? Like you have, did, did you read the book by the way? Yeah. Good. This book is the masterpiece of Daniel Defoe. It's not one of his, one of the oldest because the oldest book is Beowulf. The Beowulf is the first written English book ever. It's the first epic story that have been ever written in English, the very first. But this is not very old. As you can see, it's dated back to something like um, previous century or the beginning of this century. So, but it's his masterpiece. It will tell us how to control our desire and how to survive. So my question is, how can we control our desire? Well, patience, first. Oh, we have a bunch of people here. I don't like to speak all the time. I want you to speak out because this is for you, not for me. Please don't be panic. And don't, don't go to the outside. Uh, no, no, I mean, 
how can we not not in this situation but overall how can we control our desire of course uh, create a vaccine yeah sorry should, uh, mr mr rahmat my point yeah. is not about the disease my point is about desire how desire. can we how can we control our desire? For example, you have a desire to eat a lot. Somebody else has a desire, for example, girls, they have a desire to put on makeups. Well, uh -huh. too, makeup, too much makeups. How can we control this? Uh, I can uh, control the desire when uh, I... If... Okay, wait a minute. Okay, I unmute you all, please, because we have a lot of members. If you have any point, just raise your hand. It's way down the button. You can raise your hand and I will mute you. I will unmute you, okay? okay. So you, I will okay. unmute Okay, good. Um, would you mind raise your hand if you have something to say? Okay, let's see. We have, okay. If you raise your hand, you can unmute yourself. You can unmute yourself. You have the... I, I made it free that you can unmute yourself. Good. Barwa, you can speak. Yeah. Doctor, if we take uh, Robinson Crusoe as an example, he make himself comfortable by thinking of a religion and a Christian. And he thought that God near him and watching him, that's make him comfortable and control of himself. And I think that's the main point in the book as a religion taken thinking of a religion what if we don't have religion if somebody doesn't believe in god in that case i don't know okay so Sorry. i think regine wanted to say something am i right regine regine did you want to say something yeah, teacher, but I forget it. It's okay. Well, I will repeat my question again. How can we control something we have it that we want to do it? Yeah, my desire. Yeah, like a desire, mm. like an interest, a bad interest. Uh. We can control uh, the de my desire, uh, like I can uh, busy for something, mm -hmm. another another thing, like a reading book. What else? Okay. Anyone else want to add something? Uh, doctor, can we say isolation is one of the best for controlling the desire? Being alone and thinking. Because um, I hear so so many things about being isolation and controlling desire like this. You mean by isolation, like to not talk with anyone, to not speak with anyone, to not, not show yourself to not anyone? If not every time, but whenever you think that your desire control yourself, your entire, so you, you can be in isolation for a period of time, so you can control it. What if you have a desire that uh, you don't want to be, you don't want to be alone? Like in the case of Robinson Crusoe, he's already alone. He's the only one in the, in the, uh, on the island. So if he has a desire, he is already alone. So how can he control it? Any point? Yeah, Mr. Ahmed, you can unmute yourself if you want to speak. Everybody can unmute himself or herself. Uh, Mr. Ahmed, I cannot hear your voice. I think you forgot. Okay, here you can speak. Firstly, I have a desire uh, 
of I, I drinking coffee a lot and for take a solution uh, for pre, take a solution for, for this desire I think is firstly you, are, uh, you have to improve in yourself not others and uh, researching or make a science or to get a science by Google uh, and accept your mind your mind that things is a bad and leave it um the point is how can you we have plenty of other people they don't speak like uh like Buru Aziz, uh like Muhammad, like Re, right. like Sazan, like Shema. Can I say something? Can I show? Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, I think we have to kill the desire, but how we kill it, it is the question, right? Yeah. But I think, uh, as Mr. Ahmed said, like drinking coffee too much. All right. We have to get used with the, you know, habit. We have to, let's say, okay, I'm not drinking coffee now, I will drink it later. So this is the one of the way you kill the behave, behaviorism. I don't know how to, is, is it correct or not? So when you say, I will do it later, and then um, later, you know, it, it's kind of deceiving yourself. So I think it is one of the way to kill your desire. And then uh, get used to the, the thinking, thinking about something start to change the habit from something to another. So that is my idea, Dr. Ray. Good. What about I others? We have Sazan, we have Shema. You would mind absent you, sir. Me, no, 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 no. <laughs> Trust me, I, I'm completely with you. I'm completely with you. You are talking about how to kill a desire by postponing. Postponed, yes. Yeah. Well, I'm completely with you, but I want to, I don't want to talk all the time. I, I want to give chances to others like Shema, like Sazan. I Are think they, Sazan has a problem. She doesn't hear your voice. Sazan Sazan Salam, right? Yes, Sazan Salam. She doesn't hear your voice. Uh, Sazan Salam, can you because I wanted to so can anybody? Sazan, are you here? Because I cannot even send her a message. That's the problem, privately. You send a message from the chat, Dr. Green, from the general. I, I know, I know, but I cannot. Um, okay, I will tell it to you. Everyone can hear me? Well, if Sazan. Oh, yeah, Sazan is telling me that, yes, I can hear. So, Sazan, can you say something? <laughs> Hello, Sazan, are you here? I'm not in a good place to talk. Ah, okay, my bad, my bad. Okay, we will give the permission to Shema, your fan. Yes. Ah, uh, Shema, are you here? I don't know why people are not talking, but uh, anyway, one of Shema Irfan asked me a question that everybody's seen it. What is the similarity between Daniel Defoe and Robinson Crusoe? Why the author talked about simplicity, but isolation? Well, maybe it is based on true story. Like uh, we have a movie, I will I will uh, share it with you. We call it Cast Away by Tom Hanks. This is the movie of Robinson Crusoe, Cast Away. Uh, it's by Tom Hanks. Um, you can have it. Hanks, and uh, we have eg dot best. This is a good website to watch free movies if you are at home or popcorn times you can download it on this the second one is an application you can download it on your computer or on your cell phone anywhere it's completely free but yes uh, as Burwa said it's based on a true story well based on his experience what about the others what what do you think 
uh, I don't know what's the topic about because uh, at the first I didn't hear you. What's okay. the subject? What's the book? Sorry for that. Dear Saza, the topic is Daniel Defoe. It's by Robinson, uh, by Daniel Defoe. The, the story is Robinson Crusoe. I already posted into the group chat. So I mean this, here, I didn't hear. What did you say? Okay, my, my, my question is, why Daniel Defoe, or is there any similarity between Daniel Defoe, the author, and Robinson Crusoe, the book? Is there any similarity? Uh, honestly, I don't have any idea because I haven't read it and uh, I don't know what it is. Okay, you can, f everybody here in this chat group, you can follow my Instagram, Arindor Mohammed, uh, as I, it's a public account, everybody can follow it. And um, I keep posting about, let's say, the book for next week. So, yeah, um, you can follow me. I will post, like from tomorrow, I will post the book for next week, next week's meeting. Um, okay, how can we survive without internet? Or without basic things like, like electric, internet, gas, water, how can we survive? Like Robinson Crusoe survived without anything. No kitchen, no electricity, no internet, no nothing. But how can we survive? You can share your points. Uh, depending on our ability to survive, for example, hunting, for example, farmers, so many things in the past, they there were no internet, no electric, and they were survived. Am I right? Yeah. So, Mr. Burwa, can you be a farmer? I mean, not Burwa, yeah. is the one that he is talking now. Can you can you be yeah. a farmer? Yeah, my grandfather is a farmer, and I learned so many things from him, so I can. That's a good thing. So. There's no difficulty in the farming or shipping is lands. How many times or how many hours do you use internet in one day? Nowadays, mm -hmm. uh, about uh, 16 hours. 16 hours, one six. Yeah. And you tell because me that you can survive. Any... And you tell me that you can survive well, without internet. Yeah, we can because if we don't have so we must survive. But nowadays we have internet, so there's no point of take it away from ourselves. Okay, my point is that when you have something and still you don't use it, how can you survive? For example, I have internet, but I don't plenty or usually use it. Well, the other times I read books, like. Uh, 15 hours a day, 14 hours a day of reading books, writing, memoir. What if you have something and you want to survive it? Others, please. Mr. Burwa Aziz, Mr. Ahmed, Mr. Shay, Ms. Shayma, Mr. Mohammed. Um, we have Khaven, we have uh, Regine. Dr. Alim, uh, Dr. Alim, the one, the question said, can we live or survive without technology? I think mm -hmm. it is better to change the question uh, to, can we live or survive without social interaction? Because technology it is, you know, quite uh, the, one of the, it's not fundamental stuff nowadays, especially right now, we need social interaction. Since we have, uh, get isolated ourselves at home and uh, we don't have any social interaction right now. So let, let's change the question to social interaction. And it's prob probably uh, we can survive without technology, without uh, some kinds of stuff like kitchen room, as you said, living room, these stuff. Uh, what, what, what we can survive is, or what we need is food. 
But someone like Robinson, he was in the island. He catch, he didn't know anything at first, but then you know because a human has the uh, how to how to call this word in English? I already forget. We are adaptable. See, adaptable. we can adapt ourselves as much as like more than any creature in this world, in this uh, uh, entire world. So what Robinson Crusoe did was uh, really amazing, amazed me actually. Uh, when the first time he was just only let's say seaman, and then he learned how to hunt how to survive, how to get a shelter, how to get food. So this is a story about the adventure of this man. Uh, was really, was really amazed, amazed me. And I, I strongly recommend those uh, gentlemen or uh, ladies are here, please read it. Or if, if you don't have time to read all the book, you can just Google it, write uh, Robinson Crusoe uh, um, summary. You can get the idea about what he did and what he got it but i exactly have no right answer for your question thank you so much mr mohammed ahmed you are online and you raised your hand and after that it will be miss shema i will come to you miss shema just let me finish with mr mohammed yes uh, i want to say that doctor there's no life um without basic things we cannot live without food we cannot okay but with electricity it could be a cool i cannot hear anything the noble road was wrong mr mohammed i think you have a problem with your connection so we hardly, sure. we hardly can Is hear your voice. I was now. Still, the connection is Doctor? not. Still, the connection is not good. Sorry. Doctor, how is um, it now? Okay, you can speak. Well, uh, I said that um, there is no life without um, basic things, as you mentioned. For example, um, without electricity, we can live, you know? Uh, we can use th other things. Um, things that um, it's not so, um, let's say, bad, because according to the, to the novel at that time, as I have mentioned, that the book wrote in the 17th century. So at that period of time, maybe living without um, uh, electricity would be okay. Won't, and it won't cause lots of trouble for us. But for now, as we live now in the, in the uh, let's say, age of technology, age of improvement, I'm not sure whether we can do it or not. So you mean that uh, it would be hard to survive without technology? Our technology nowadays, but could be there is um, always ways to find um, a suitable life. Sometimes technology causes us uh, lots of trouble if we don't know how to how to deal with it. Okay. Um, let's bring um, let let's take take for example Japan or China or those countries that are popular for making robots. Well, robots is really great. It's really for other people use it in the um, bad way. It could be. We are, as human, has a two parts, good parts and uh, bad parts. Maybe some others use them as a way that's not um, proper. Okay, thank you so much, Mr. Mohammed. We go to Shaima Irfan. I think you raised your hand. So are you here? Ms. Shaima. 
Ms. Shema, can you hear me? Okay, I'm gonna ask you another question because we have something like 10 more minutes to go. So my question is, after this book, what kind of shift, what kind of change? Um, no, I cannot hear you, Ms. Shema, sorry. Um, would you mind speak or I don't know what, whether, can you speak now, Ms. Shima? I think there is a problem with your speaker or with your headphone or what, what, whatever you use it. Okay. Um, what did you learn from this book? Like how this book, because after every book or every movie, there should be a shift in our life. There should be a change in our life. What does book changed in your life? Yes, Mr. Burwa, are you want to, do you want to speak, say, say something? Yeah, Doctor. Uh, I learned two things in this book. Uh, First of all, if we have a desire for living so we can, no matter where we are. And second, about the love of the country. As you know, there are so many colonization in this book that Robinson Crusoe talked about his country, about England. So there's no point, if you are so far from your country, it doesn't mean that you don't have to love your country. You must love your country wherever you are. I learned this from Robinson Crusoe. Okay. Who else? Yes, Mr. Mohammed Ahmed. Mr. Mohammed? Yes, doctor. Yeah, can you tell me what well, you were in the book? Uh, after, okay. The last semester, and we had class uh, discussed. Um, idea here, and I cannot hear your voice, Mr. Mohammed. I think there is a problem with your connection, so please. Um, anyone else? Ah, Mr. Ahmed Burhan, you want to say something? Hey, sir, you can you clear a question? You say that which which book uh, perfect you? No, I said once you read this book. So, what did you learn from this book, or from any book? Like usually, when we read a book, we should learn something. So, did you read this book? Okay, I I read this book. I read this, I was read this book. Mm -hmm. it's a, it means a Kurdish book, the translated by, uh, by uh, it means uh, how to be a successful person. Okay. In your life. Uh, he wrote it by Dale Carnegie. It's a oh, really Dale Carnegie. Uh, Dale Carnegie is a real, is a perfect book. Oh, I, I was making signs about the book um, uh, to be always be patient in your life. In your bad situation, when when you have a bad time, always be patient and development in your life. I think it's a it's a very nice and scientific book. <clears throat> so did did it did the book change anything from your life? Yeah, of course. Before before uh, before read uh, the book. Uh, I'm always my situation, uh, and it's not normally. Uh, and also, uh, don't be patient to everything. 
and uh, I, I will, and I'm always uh, I can't uh, wait to be something. But uh, I think this book is a significant way uh, to be pensioned or to to create own life. <clears throat> I see. That's good. Um, anyone else want to share something with us? Uh, yeah, this uh, doctor. Okay, yeah, Miss Regine. Um, uh, doctor, when I read this book, uh, I learned it, uh, love myself, uh, love my life, and try to everything that I want in my life. And I learned it, human can do, can do everything. Yeah. Human can do everything like what? Uh, like Ro Robinson, he do everything because he he want uh, life. Okay, I'm um, I'm just putting down those words which is necessary and which which is the keywords of our speech. Um, so do you have anything else to add, Miss Regin? No. Okay. Now we have four more minutes. I want you to give me a suggestion in order to publicize it in my Instagram and Facebook page in order to can, make people... Can, before you just get, uh, get to that one, can I just tell my ideas, share my ideas? Yeah, but, but we have four minutes, so can you make it in two minutes? 35 seconds. Okay. Uh, since you're talking about this book, I think uh, this book has many uh, messages here. The first one is about disobedience, uh, which we have uh, to really focus on. We have to highlight it because the first time his parents uh, told him, please do not go and we need you to be uh, follow or uh, pursue your dream, which they wanted to be a lawyer. And then he disobeyed uh, his parents. That is the first point. And the second one, how human and People can survive without any social interaction, technology, electricity, food, anything. So it means we are quite, um, the word, adapt, adaptable people. And that is the message that I have yeah, learned from. That's good. So we have one minute or two minutes to tell me what would be the next book or the next book challenge. Because I want you to tag your friends based on uh, this. I think I'd like to read a book which is more, it's not novel, which is about, you know, self-development. It's much better. But that is my suggestion. Well, just give me the name of the book, please. Um, uh, tipping Point. Tipping Point. That is the best, best international seller book, actually. Can you, can you put it on, on the chat box? And be aware, Burwa, we have to have a book which we can find it online. I think we, uh, well, I, I don't know. Please make it quick because we don't have much time. Okay. The saving habits of highly effective pupils. Put yeah, it down one. on the chat box. Please, please put it down on the chat box that everybody can, can, can see it. And then for next week, I will read that book and I will try to find it on internet and we will discuss that book. That is mine. Okay, everyone, this is the name of the book for the richest man in Babylon. Oh, Mr. Mohammed, you just nailed it. Missed it. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, I have, doctor, I have okay. the Kurdish version and the English version because of it is um, impressed me really. Okay, so give a give a voice. Which one? The tripping point by Malcolm Gladwell or the richest man in Babylon? Which one? Of course, the yeah, only three. Of okay, our friends, I don't know. One you more thing. Ah, gosh, we have mood. Okay, so this week we will choose tipping point by Malcolm Gladwell, and then for the next week we will choose the other books. Okay. What um, the PDF online? The PDF online. We, we can find the PDF, I think. Uh, just 
to make sure that everybody will see it. Tipping, tipping point by the tipping point by Malcolm Glidewell. Uh, sorry. Oh gosh, I made it possibly. Okay, here we are. So I'm really glad that we met and we discussed this book. The next book session will be Tipping Point by Malcolm Gladwell. And we have one minute for the time of the remaining of the meeting. So if you have any idea, you can share it with me. Otherwise, keep safe, stay at home. We will be back next Monday on the same time. We will discuss about Tipping Point by Malcolm Gladwell. Um, don't worry, cheers. Yeah. Don't worry, Shaima, you can participate next week. I'm sure that everybody will be, well, you can tell your friends, you can invite your friends, and you can add me on Instagram that I will put the link, and I will put the same link of today. I will not change my ID. It will be the same link, it will be the same ID number. We will meet again. Doctor. What about the time? I think this is so sure. It's not in my hand. It's just the program will give me only 40 minutes because this is an open oh. session. I wish wow. to make it more, but the program doesn't give me. I'm really sorry. Wish you okay. the best of no luck. Problem. And have Good a very pleasant you. stay and so enjoy much. the rest of your night. Thank Thanks. you. Goodbye. You Good too. Night. The same. Goodbye. Okay. Bye-bye. Have a good night. Have a good night. Have a good night.